any day any moment any given time is a great opportunity for you to redirect for you to reflect on your current situation and reflect on where you want to be and began planning those changes and began seeing yourself in a different light creating new perspectives um so don't think just because new year has passed and like we're now in march that you can't do those things like march is even perhaps the best time for you to do that because it is spring and it symbolizes new beginnings blossoming like a new era so if anything this is a perfect time for you to get started in creating your vision board your mood boards and start creating your goals for this year of your life hello friends welcome back to my channel so my name is sebastiana joyce if you are new here and i'm a lifestyle wellness and fashion content creator so hello and welcome so for today's video i'm going to be walking you through my 2023 mood board as this is my 27th year so it's a really important year for me so yeah i'll be walking you through my very own personal mood board for this year for 2023 my 27th year but first I will be talking you through why doing a mood board is even beneficial and how to get started on making your own. Okay, so before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you end up enjoying this kind of content, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this. And also interact with me in the comment section. Like, I'm not scary at all. Like, let's interact, let's talk. You can find me in the comment section and we'll have a discussion. And I also want to know from you, like if you've done this before, if you enjoyed it, if you haven't done it, or, you know, just let me know your experience down below and we can have a little chat so yeah let's get into the video okay first of all i just want to start off this whole video by disclaiming that just because it's march we're three months into the year does not mean you cannot create your vision board now does not mean that you can decide to create a vision board create a mood board switch up your life like redirect your life like any day any moment any given time is a great opportunity for you to redirect for you to reflect on your current situation and reflect on where you want to be and began planning those changes and began seeing yourself in a different light creating new perspectives um so don't think just because new year has passed and like we're now in march that you can't do those things like march is even perhaps the best time for you to do that because it is spring and it symbolizes new beginnings blossoming like a new era so if anything this is a perfect time for you to get started in creating your vision board your mood boards and start creating your goals for this year of your life so don't be discouraged because the new year has gone i know that for me it takes me a while to get my stuff in order so even if you didn't do it at the start of the year you can literally do it at any point don't let society tell you that you only have to do it at the new year or you can only do it on your birthday like no you redefine your life whenever you want to redefine your life okay okay so with the rise of instagram and other social media platforms like visual imagery um and like aesthetics has been like a staple in our everyday lives and I think it's something that we're exposed to every single day even if we're not even like consciously thinking about it like we're constantly being exposed to like images and adverts and advertisement companies have definitely profited off that of the power of visual imagery the power of repetition of images on our brain and our psyche and how it actually affects us into wanting to buy those things and wanting to go out there and perhaps do or buy the things that we see so it really is very powerful so you see the way that we're bombarded every day on like social media on like shopping websites on transportation tfl buses like billboards everywhere we go like there's an advert so they basically work off this principle that imagery kind of primes our brain into wanting the things that we are seeing so the more we see something the more we're going to want it so that's how it essentially works so if we actually use this kind of method the same principle for more motivational um intentional things for like self-improvement self-development growth like we might actually be able to see the things that we want to see in life we might actually be able to achieve the goals that we want to achieve if we apply the same principle to our lives and you know expose ourselves to the things that we want in our life more frequently rather than just writing your goals down at the start of the year or whenever you decide to write your goals writing them in your journal and a notebook and then like just closing the book and forgetting about it um creating some type of imagery that you expose yourself to every day can prime your brain to look at this imagery and want these things and hopefully it will motivate you and inspire you to actually go after those things and you know make maybe make some kind of advancements in obviously like the whole manifestation process so it definitely does work and I'm definitely trying it out this year so I am inviting you all to give this a try and see where it takes us and like let's go on this little journey let's do our mood boards let's do our vision boards write our goals and expose ourselves to like you know the life that we want to live the things that we want to be the things that we want to see etc so what is a mood 
board then so a mood board is a visual tool reflecting the feelings and the moods of like a particular project that you are wanting to accomplish so i know that for me it's self-development this year i'm trying to focus on like my self-development my self-improvement like being my higher self and like just being who i know i can be like that is my focus for this year obviously i do have tangible goals as well that i want to achieve but my main focus is self-improvement self-development because i feel like i really need to grow into the woman that i know i can be to achieve the things that i want to achieve in life but for you your project can be something completely different it could be a brand that you're trying to start up it could be your career you're trying to figure out your career vibes you're trying to figure out perhaps your wedding details you're trying to figure out your holiday destination details like whatever it is that you are trying to like focus on or like you know really plan around and you know get your ideas together on um creating a mood board is a perfect um task to be able to gather those ideas gather those inspirations to be able to focus on that one thing and hopefully make some movement in regards to it so a mood board typically consists of like pictures imagery colors typographies graphics and it can often be physical or digital to convey i guess the mood the feelings, the aim, the ethos, the mantras of the kind of project that you're trying to achieve. It's essentially designed to give like a visual essence of what it is that you're trying to um, create. So the visual essence of your brand. So I know that I have specific brands in mind and like, you know, I know like I can literally visually see like the whole essence of like my brand that i want to create one day so it's just about putting that onto paper and you'll be able to see my kind of essence of like self-improvement that i'm wanting to go for this year and you'll be able to see that in a second as well once we go through my own personal mood board but yeah it's just designed to create that kind of essence like put that kind of feelings and the moods and stuff that you have in your brain already onto paper so you can actually visually see it. A lot of you may have heard of vision boards as well and it's essentially the same concept but incorporates a more variety of themes and like different concepts and feelings and moods um, but specifically it's in regards to like the goals that you want to achieve um, so yeah so vision boards typically just focus on the goals um, with different inter interchangeable themes from like career relationship brands business that you want to own so it incorporates a lot of things whereas like a mood board you kind of give yourself a focus and focus on that one thing it's essentially the same concept but vision board again just focuses more on the goals whereas mood boards i think encompasses more of like the essence and like the feelings and like you know what you want to portray with your project at hand. So onto the benefits of mood boarding. Why mood board? So other than it being considered like one of the most like beneficial kind of um, exercises that you can do for your brain and visualization, it's actually a fun experience. Like I actually find it really fun when I was doing it. It was like my own self care time. I remember that day my mom wanted me to babysit my siblings and I told her, no girl, I can't because I am doing my mood board tonight. Like I'm taking some self care time. I'm taking some me time, well-deserved me time. And I'm indulging in this exercise. Like I am putting my phone away, and I'm just going to focus on my, on my MacBook and, you know, put my music on, light my candle and really just create that vibe for myself. And I did that. I really did that. Like, you'll see that I did that and, like, no one could disturb me that day because I really wanted it to be, like, a little self-care thing. And you can make it into a self-care activity for whatever it is that you want to do. So I find it really fun. I thought it was a really fun experience, a really fun activity. And I'm actually definitely going to be making different types of mood boards for, like, obviously the different areas of my life that I want to focus on so yeah other than it obviously being beneficial for your brain and visualization and stuff it's actually a fun exercise like it gets you away distracted from your phone and technology and Netflix and all of that stuff that you'd be doing probably laying down on your bed and like not being as productive whereas this is actually something that you know it's productive and it's a bit of self-care and it's actually fun to do so I would say it's fun. Another benefit of mood boarding is that it creates or releases your creative um, juices. So 
creativity can be a difficult thing to kind of manage at times because sometimes you can have like a burst of like creativity and you've got all these ideas and you're like shooting from left to right um, but other times it can desert you and you can feel lost and like confused and you don't know what direction to take so mood boarding kind of allows you to get those creative juices flowing again it can allow you to draw from inspiration and you know I think it's just a great opportunity for you to really hone in on like something specific that you want to achieve and focus on that and hopefully start getting some ideas from it and allowing ideas to come and go It'll allow you to draw ideas from inspiration and allow you to you know get into the process like you might have been thinking of something for a while and really have felt lost with the idea of doing it or how to start it but if you start with a mood board in regards to like the feelings and moods and mantras and stuff that you want to emit from this project then you can really start reducing um releasing those creative juices sorry and really get into that kind of process flow and you know you'll find yourself like just going with the vibe resonating with what resonates and letting go of what doesn't resonate um so yeah and it will allow you to also begin to make like a step forward in that direction so although you haven't made like i don't know business plan for example you've created your mood board you know what it is that you're trying to achieve ideally so it's taking you that kind of step forward so another great benefit is that mood boards can allow you to plan more effectively so it'll allow you to put all your ideas into like one place so you'll have this one kind of visual paper poster whatever it may be that can have all your ideas and visions for your particular project and it can also serve as a great reference point as well so that when you are in like the decision making process you can refer back to your mood board and examine is this is this aligning with my mood board um, and if it's not aligning why do I need to tweak something in the mood board or do I need to you know tweak something in what I'm going after like it really serves as like a reference point for you to look back on and really you know evaluate whether the things are aligning whether your ideas are coming into life and whether the things that you originally had in mind are aligning with the things that are actually happening in a sense so yeah it's really important to have something to have a reference point from and like really have that kind of evaluation process from it. Another great thing about mood boards is that it can allow you to communicate. So often when we have ideas and visions and like different things that we're trying to pursue, like we often don't know how to articulate those things. Like we don't know how to communicate those things. So having like a mood board or a vision board, you can have something to be like someone, okay, this is it. Like this is the kind of vibe that I'm trying to go for. Um, so it can allow you to uh, communicate more effectively, more visually, um, which is sometimes better than words can explain. So yeah, having that kind of vision board to allow you to allow that communication um, can also be effective as well in your whole process of actually making those things come into life. Mood boards can allow you to kind of organise different area of your life. So like I keep mentioning, you can literally do a mood board for anything, whether it's your career, whether it's your personal development, whether it's your relationships, whether it's a brand that you're trying to create, like it'll allow you to kind of hone in on one area of your life specifically and like bring in all different ideas for that area specifically, focus on that area and then perhaps move on to the other area. So it's just about kind of of, you know kind of organizing the different areas of your life and hopefully it can allow you to move forward and be more organized in the things that you want to do because I know that for me I have a lot of ideas a lot of like things that I want to pursue a lot, a lot of things that I want to achieve so I'm always constantly thinking of different things and I feel like once you can focus on one thing do everything you need to do for that not do everything but begin making a process for that then you can move on to the next thing and like put your ideas down for that thing and then the next thing so it's really just kind of um yeah I think it's a great way to get you organized in regards to like the different type of the different aspects in your life and the different things that you want to achieve. Creating a mood board can definitely reduce your screen time so according to research more than half of us have like nomophobia I think I'm saying that word right nomophobia so it's like the fear of being phoneless for me I think that notion is pretty scary the fact that we can't stay without our phones for too long like that is a scary concept and I know that I'm trying to be more intentional about reducing my screen time like to make it a lifestyle not just even for this year like to make it a lifestyle and like do other things with my time like journal read do creative things like this like mood boards like my intention is just to reduce my screen time because I spend a lot of time on my phone on like social media and I think I think it's disgusting I think it's really disgusting <laughs> I feel like it's not 
helping us advance like personally like developmentally like I feel like it even like kind of staggers us in a way so I think it's really important to have those moments where you are away from like your phone or your screen if you are opting obviously for the non-digital option then you won't have a Mac or laptop or anything um, whereas for myself I obviously did it with my MacBook but I know that I told my phone <laughs> told my phone but I know that I left my phone on the side and I said I'm not touching this for as long as I'm doing this like I don't want to kind of be interrupted by like a notification and I just put my phone away and I just focused on my task at hand so it can definitely help you reduce your screen time so the last benefit that I've got down is that it can really be used as your own personal artwork like if you are planning on like decorating your room or if you just want to add a bit of jazz around your home around your room like Having artworks is usually like the thing that kind of adds some kind of shazam to the area that you're decorating and I think often artwork is expensive so why not create your own? I know that it's become quite a trend lately to create your own artwork, you know, with like the what is those type of artworks that people have been making with like clay and stuff i don't know the name but like it's become quite trendy to like create your own artwork and like frame obviously your artwork around your house so this can be another great form of artwork that you can frame i know that i'm personally going to frame my mood board i don't know if i'm going to put it on my wall yet or on my desk but it's definitely going to be something that is going to be visual to me every single day i think definitely using it as artwork um could be a great way to motivate you to do this as well um and you'll have something to inspire you every day every day you wake up you're walking around your room oh my vision board do you know what i mean like it's a great way of like inspiring you as well on your day to day even when you're feeling low you might walk past your mood board and think i did that do you know what i mean so yeah i think it's a great piece of artwork to have as well so now we're on to the fun part on how to actually get started on making your own vision board first of all i think i just want to start off by saying how like your mood board doesn't have to like be all glitz and glam it doesn't have to be like perfectly aesthetically pleasing and like it doesn't have to be all of that I know that for me I made it that because I just want to romanticize every area of my life and I'm very into like aesthetics and I feel like I'm inspired by aesthetics so I try to make my things very aesthetically pleasing like with content that I create like it's all about aesthetics for me because it's what inspires me and that's where I draw my work from but it doesn't always have to be like that like it doesn't have to be perfect and I think often when we focus on how perfect something has to be then it kind of detracts from the purpose that we're trying to create in the first place so so I think don't allow your ideas of like aesthetics and like perfection to come in the way of like the whole process because you know it's about you just putting your visions into life and just being able to visualize your goals and like you know the things that you want to achieve so don't allow like a sex aesthetics and perfection to come in the way of that because it can be really stressful like trying to make something perfect and like trying to make it aesthetically pleasing so don't get caught up in that process like don't get caught up in perfection like just do what comes into your mind like go with your heart just go with the flow and don't like try to you know resist or kind of obsess over anything like just let it flow and like just let it be a process a nice calming process for you like don't allow it to become stressful where you're stressing over like you know is this angled perfectly or this like no like let's not do that this is a self-care non-stressful activity okay so when you're trying to begin this whole mood boarding process and obviously you want to mood board about something specifically something that you're trying to hone in and put focus on you want to start off with a purpose like what is it that you're trying to achieve what's your goal what's your project like what is it that you're trying to create like and what is your why what is your reasoning behind doing this because I know that for me again I'm trying to go on like this whole process of self-improvement self-development and I've always been that way like I've always like just constantly looking for ways to like better myself and like just do better as a person because I want to live out that true potential I want to be like my highest self so I'm always looking at ways to better myself and I feel like I'm always visualizing like this kind of person that I want to be and you know I have all this idea in my mind of like who I want to become um, and I just thought it'd be a great way to actually get that idea on paper because often I think about it and it leaves me for maybe hours or days and like I won't think about it again until it comes up again whereas 
if I have like something visual that I can hang up and see every day have can be reminded of that and again it can prime me to actually want to be that person so really think about your purpose as to what's what are you trying to achieve with this and why you're trying to achieve that because often when we have a strong why when we have a strong purpose then it can definitely direct us in the right direction it can guide us and it can also serve as like a motivation for what we're doing so definitely having clarity on why you're doing something is always important anyway whether it's in this activity whether it's in your life decisions or things that you're out there doing like knowing why you're doing something is very important and you know you can always align that with your values of what you're actually trying to get out of life if it's not aligning then you need to dip or you need to switch it up but yeah having a strong why is very important so after you've identified your goals your purpose and your why um you can start getting some pictures so start getting some imagery so i know that i use pinterest and pinterest is just a lifesaver like whenever you need some kind of inspiration like just go on pinterest so start looking for like pictures imagery graphics colors and stuff that kind of speak to the kind of vibe the kind of feeling and mood that you're after things that are inspiring you or inspire this project that you're out to do i know that i use pinterest and i think pinterest is your best friend and you can find so much inspiration on there and like i said you can just get lost in there from tag to tag you could be on like holidays to romantic holidays to couples dinner to best friend relationships and like career and finance goals like literally inspirational quotes like pinterest literally is your best friend when it comes to like imagery inspiration um so i would definitely recommend you using pinterest but obviously there's google images or instagram is a great place as well twitter like there's so many platforms where we can obviously get like images from that can often inspire us but i think pinterest is like the the main kind of um platform that you can use as it kind of draws from like different types of websites as well you can find things on there that have been posted from twitter instagram so yeah, I think it's really um, useful to use Pinterest. So it's just about going where your heart leads you. If you like something, you save it, you pin it, or you can even print it off. But again, it's just about keeping what resonates and letting go of what doesn't resonate with obviously the project at hand. I know that for me, when I was having the idea of creating a mood board, I know that I created a whole um, folder on Pinterest called PD, which is like personal development. And I put in everything that was inspiring me in regarding to my personal development. And when I sat down, ready to obviously create this mood board it was easy because I had a whole folder of like images that I had in mind for my mood board and it was just easy to copy and paste um, from one website to the other so yeah I was really organized in that sense so you can kind of follow that same process flow of looking for images for like however long you want to look for images for I know that it's been Quite a while since I decided to create a mood board. I think since the start of the year actually I've been having the idea of creating a mood board. So I was just saving things, creating my folder, just save things whenever I wanted to and you know here I am. I finally completed my mood board and it was just an easy process because I had all those images there saved ready to obviously be created. So tools that you can use. After you've honed down on your goal, on the purpose that you're trying to create with this project, then you're going to start getting the imagery and like the things that inspire you that you're going to use for this mood board. And now the tools that you're going to use. So there's many tools that you can use that I'm sure most of you will be familiar with. Um, I use Canva. I use Canva with basically everything that I do creatively. Um, I create like my YouTube banners on there, my thumbnails and like, you know, I just use Canva all the time. So like it's something that is familiar to me and I find it's very effective. It gets the job done um, and it has everything that I need essentially. I actually pay for Canva Pro, which I think it's really silly but I do because it just allows me to have like different features that the basic um, thing wouldn't allow me to have so I know that I pay for my subscription and I know that I pay for Adobe as well which is another great platform that you can use like Adobe um, Photoshop you can use um, to create your vision board as well. Yeah, there's Google Drawer and there's also obviously Microsoft PowerPoint. So yeah, if you are looking for a digital mood board platform, then yeah, you can definitely use those type of um, apps and um, resources. So the next point that I'd like to make in this whole process of creating your own vision board is for you to actually be intentional about it and make a conscious effort to look at this daily all the time. Not all the time like staring at it, but like make a conscious effort to walk past this thing or hold it up and, you know, literally look at this thing at least once in your day because um, you don't just want to do all of this like which is hard work you know it actually took me a lot of time to to create my mood board you don't just want to like create this thing that took you ages to do 
and like just leave it and like just you know forget all about it you want to be able to see this thing every day like this is intended to inspire you on a daily basis to get you feeling those it's to get you feeling the way your mood board is feeling it's to get you to think about the things on your mood board and for you, for you to start thinking of ways to allow those things to come into life or it's even make you feel like those things have already come true so that when you look at it you feel like okay this is actually happening so you know there's actually research that says that our brain often doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality so like if you're constantly imagining something it's going to become your reality sooner or later we're all trying to make things happen in life we all trying to be better and do better so like really be conscious and intentional about this um, type of activity this type of um, work because it's going to inspire you it's going to motivate you so do have it somewhere that you can see so I don't know whether you want to put it as your screensaver on your phone or on your laptop or you want to hang it up like me but you need to have this visually in your peripheral view like you need to be able to see this thing on a daily because it's going to inspire you and it's going to maybe make you feel the way the mood board is designed to make you feel like the feelings and stuff that you put into the mood board hopefully that can translate to how you actually feel so on those down days maybe that you have on those rainy days you can look at this thing and it can give you a little bit of hope a little bit of inspiration you know i feel like it's really important to be intentional about this kind of the visual exercise because it's going to be something that you know is designed to inspire you and it's designed to make you feel the way you wanted it to feel do you know what i mean like the whole point is for it to emit certain feelings and moods and mantras from like this whole thing that you created so so my last point would be for you to revise and review this um i'd say whenever it seems appropriate i think for me perhaps i'm going to review it every three months maybe just to reflect on whether this is something that i still want whether it still resonates with the kind of person that i want to be and you know i'm even thinking about my mood board i don't think i did in nature in my mood board and that is like my main priority is to be in nature because it's like my safe space i'm gonna go back into my mood board see like we always need to kind of review and revise because you know things may change and we're constantly evolving as humans like i know that i don't have the same priorities that i had five years ago or i didn't have like the same perspective or dreams or whatever that i did five years ago so it's really important to review these things review your mood board is this still, is this still something that i want is this still the kind of mood or feeling that i want to emit like you can change your mind like it's okay to change your mind you know i feel like often we might even find guilt in changing our minds because we feel like once we've set something out to be something that we can't change up like i just feel like there's a lot of guilt around like changing directions or changing your mind i think it's completely fine and you know we evolve and change as humans all the time and it's all right for our intentions to change our priorities to change so obviously as you're changing you just want to ensure that your mood board is obviously changing with you and it's prioritizing what you're prioritizing at the moment so definitely have moments of reflection where you look on this thing and you know evaluate whether this is still something that aligns with you and if it doesn't you tweak it redirect it if it does then obviously keep going at it but you want to be intentional about this thing like i keep saying review and revise so that brings us to the end of the video i hope that it was useful to at least one person i really do hope that it's kind of inspired someone to go out there and really start visualizing your dreams your goals and the things that you want to achieve in life like you know in life it's not just about sitting down and like imagining all the great things and like all the things that you want to achieve you actually have to go out there and do things so start off by doing your mood board and really hone in on what you're trying to create or you know the feelings that you want to feel the moods that you want to you know really begin creating your mood board and hopefully that can serve as like a starting point for you to begin on this process of achieving the things that you want to achieve your goals your dreams your aspirations um so yeah i really do hope that it was useful so i hope that you're leaving this session inspired i hope that you begin to visualize imagine your dreams and your hopes and you know hold faith that these things will come true and actually go out there and do these things and be intentional about these things um to help you get closer to obviously the goals that you have but yeah that's it from me obviously if you enjoy the video make sure to give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed then what are you doing like obviously subscribe to the channel and we'll meet here again next week um and again interact with me in the comment section if you've got any thoughts or anything that you want to share from your experience then obviously i'm happy to interact in the comment section um but yeah that's it from me thank you all so much for joining and i'll catch you soon
Tchau!